Have you heard of a dark empath? A dark empath is someone who understands the thoughts and feelings of others, like an empath, but then uses it to get what they want from others. This can be through manipulation, deception, or even humiliation. But what happens when one dark empath connects with someone just like them? Let's take a look. Number one, it feels like a never ending game of 20 questions. Dark empaths use what they know about you to get what they want out of your relationship or friendship. So the neutral first step to get this information is to ask questions about your likes and dislikes, hobbies, etc. Dark empaths give a surgical, almost razor precision focus on another person to understand what makes them tick. They gather all of this intel and file it away for when it can benefit them. But when it comes to having two dark empaths meet, it's likely that they'll continually ask each other questions, but be very safeguarded by what information they reveal to the other. They don't want to make themselves vulnerable, but they do want the upper hand. Number two, they begin playing the tit for tat game. Dark empaths often need to be at the center of attention. This can mean pointing out every little thing you do wrong, never ever wanting to be left out and bringing people down to their level when not paid attention to. It's self-importance mixed with a lack of regard for your feelings. So when a dark empath finds themselves in a situation where it's clear that it's not about them, they may purposefully act out and cause chaos. And if there's another dark empath in the situation, they will most likely retaliate and escalate this tit for tat game until someone gives up. Number three, bring on the pity party. Do you always hear them saying bad things about themselves out loud? Perhaps you overhear them saying that they're just not good enough or aren't smart enough. Sometimes dark empaths can be overly critical of themselves. This can be part of a manipulation tactic or a way to make you feel bad. So you'll go out of your way to cheer them up, but add a second dark empath and now you have the pity Olympics. Number four, one-upping. A common way a dark empath tries to manipulate others is by one-upping them. This is when someone has to beat or up whatever you said by taking it another notch to seem cooler, more favorable and likable. For example, your friend calls you and says that they're getting a raise at work. Instead of congratulating them, a dark empath might say, oh, they told me I was getting mine a week ago. Guess you were last to get yours. This person just made themselves seem more important and better off because they got the raise first, whether it was true or not. And number five, things may not end on a positive note. There's not a lot of positivity when it comes to dark empaths since they tend to just talk about themselves and what they want. And so when you have two dark empaths interacting, you're doubling all that toxic behavior which will likely result in causing others to feel stupid, angry, or small. After all, a dark empath is part narcissist. Remember, the distinction is that the narcissist does this to be number one and won't think of anyone else. The dark empath, however, wants to be number one, but will calculate how they're able to step on others in order to do so. Did anything shock you? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one.